Hello, this is Al Thorne with you today, and I'm going to show you our simple one-piston light sensor. Now, the far, the one off to the far left is our two-piston one. And this one here, the second one in, is uh, a single-piston light sensor. It's very simple, very easy to make. And over here we have two of the simple ones hooked in an array. It's hooked to an OR switch. Let's go ahead and make it uh, daytime. Let me demonstrate how these work. And then I'll give you a step-by-step -step build on how to make it. This video is a bit lengthy, but I show you exactly how they work. And hopefully you'll be able to follow along and build your own without any problems. I do have a demonstration video of... of basically just a very simple uh, walkthrough on, on how they work and you can check that out on the channel it's only three minutes long okay so now that it's daytime we're waiting on these uh, light sensors to change now this particular light sensor off to the, the right because it's hooked to an OR switch you see the two powered lines going to it they're both gonna have to kick off in order for that light to turn off so it a, takes a little longer during the day, but at night it'll shut off faster than these other two. And usually you're worried about uh, night sensitivity. Okay, so we got one of the four light sensors that it's turned off. You can see this this line coming out of this one is off. Oh. The second one went off, and the sun is right there. So, just just to give you an idea, these light sensors sometimes they'll, they'll work as soon as daylight comes, they'll activate. As soon as it turns night, they'll activate, but not always. Uh, one out of every ten days, it could be noon before you see it turn on. Okay, so. It's taken forever, but I'm not going to show you to build that one. That's uh, Red Ochre's de design, and you could check out the uh, two-piston light sensor build uh, in our channel. It's the one with the dark sensitivity. Okay, so here we have it. It's simply a bud switch with the principle of the grass block, the block that grows and dies, is attached to the front of the piston. And because that causes the bud switch to update when you update the block that it's attached to, we use that. And that way we can only we only have to use one piston. The water's constantly flowing down. These this glass block here is is very important. The, they won't work without it. And on the second ring of dirt, you have to have another glass block right there. And when this updates, when the grass dies the piston retracts right here and the water flows quits flowing down on top of it and it comes out here in front now grass will will die if water's on top of it however at night it won't die during the day and that's how this whole thing works so let's show you one of these three grass blocks is gonna die the sun is setting Looks like that one finally, the grass finally grew on that one over there. Okay, so let's show you the, how this this in action. Again, this is mainly because I had so many questions about how these work. Okay, as you see, we got a light on over here. What happened was the grass block died, and that updated the bud switch, and the bud switch closed. As you see the, here, the grass block's still alive. And the piston's still open on these ones over here. So, the single will uh, beat the array tonight. Tomorrow night is most likely a different story. Because I have both these lines hooked up to this redstone torch, if either one trips, it's going to turn this light on. And that's what makes it uh, an array and and will make it a little bit better for night sensitivity. But you can just do the single one and it works alright. If you're trying to protect a village, putting light sensors in, a, in an array like this can be the difference between life and death to your villagers. 
So let's go ahead and show you how this is built. It is five wide. We got five blocks there. And that's where we're gonna put the piston. And four on two, three, four. Okay, now we only need one hole here for the torch. Make sure this is a grass block right here. And let's add another ring of dirt in front there. And put our hole in. Now this hole in front is very important. That's where the water's gonna go. Alright, so this is a pretty standard um, T flip flop bud switch build. We're going to take out this block here, put a repeater, set it to max, put redstone dust here, and let me show you how that works. It appears on. Alright, now we're going to add a block of dirt there, come up over, and if you put a block next to the uh, piston, it won't work because this redstone dust will share with that block and then the, your piston wigs out, like like so. <laughs> okay, so back to building the bud switch. Notice we're powering the block that's kitty corner from the piston. And that makes this a T flip flop bud switch. All right, the rest is pretty academic. We're just gonna add grass rings. Just copy the bottom layout except for you're going to want two spaces open in the middle there. Okay. Again, it's very important to put this glass above the block that's going to grow grass because the water will, will hit it if you don't. All right, for the next ring, and that middle glass doesn't need to be there. You can put it there if you want. This is the third and final ring of grass. And we use three rings because grass will actually spread from the top ring down to that detector block in the morning. All right, so The correct position for uh, just being dirt is for the piston to be closed. If you have grass on the front of it, the piston needs to be open. And let's say, let's say that you have grass on it, or you have dirt. Let me redo that. Dirt on the piston, and the piston's out like that. Okay, because we have water flowing on it like that. So I put water up there and the glass keeps it from going spreading off to two columns and it goes, just goes straight down because of the glass. That will never grow grass. Never. Okay, so to prevent my water from destroying my wiring I'm going to get rid of the water and I'm going to reset this bud switch. And to do that you take off the, the front block and you put dirt there. And then the piston's closed, and it's just a dirt block. That's the correct position. And looks like Red Ochre wants my help with the project. But I'll finish recording this, and then we'll work on his video. Let me show you what happens during the daytime. Alright, so it's day, and we have glass so the sun can hit that dirt block and what's going to happen is it's going to grow grass. And when it grows grass that piston is going to open up and put the grass underneath the water and then at night that, that grass is going to die and the piston is going to close. And that's how that's done. And to pull the power off you simply just come over here to the edge and you do that. And to make this even more night sensitive you want to cover up your torches and your relays. So we add that block there.